This is your time. None of us really know each other. We're all screw-ups. But somehow... We were all in the same place at the same time when Billy found those coins. Guys, check out how we glow. I'm blue. <laughs> oh, I'm black. What? I am. No, you're not. <laughs> no. Do you feel weird? We're strong. I'm saying these strong. The answer to what is happening to you is here. You five are the Power Rangers. Did I just hear you say we're Power Rangers? Is this some kind of joke? We're talking to a wall. I was kind of expecting a little more. So where were you last night? Me and four kids found a spaceship buried underground. I'm pretty sure I'm a superhero. Cool. Pee in that cup. Power Rangers were a legion of warriors. You must become those warriors. It's just a hologram, like a video game. <laughs> That's a strong-ass oh. hologram. Not a video game. <laughs> no one man to have all that power. You were born for this. I, I, just count the I will destroy everything. She is pure evil. How do you expect us to stop her? It's morphin time. Do it better than anybody you ever seen do it. <laughs> a lot of gold. This is your destiny. Let's go! Go! This is your time. Just to remind me of my screw-up, you know, I don't think we're ever gonna understand each other. They're gonna come here every Saturday just to graduate with all these other weirdos and criminals. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my So this is where you come every Saturday instead of practice. Tragic. <laughs> I keep the ends out for the tie that by Hey! It's a restricted area! Uh, guys? There's something in there. I Billy, what are you doing? Guys! What is it? Security. Somebody should have pointed that out. Wait, I did. <laughs> Something happened up there, okay? I'm not the same. I'm strong. How strong? I can say these strong. No, no, no. Damn, dude. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like we need to go back up there. I'm gonna jump across with her and then you jump. Piece of cake. Let's go. No, no, no. Go. Don't jump. Jason! That's not a piece of cake! place when Billy found those coins. What is that? Do you feel weird? We're strong. Insanely strong. The answer to what is happening to you is here. You five are the Power Rangers. Any other questions? Are we more like Iron Man or Spider-Man? <laughs> Could you just say something? 
anything. Me and four kids found a spaceship buried underground. Whoa! Pretty sure I'm a superhero. What? Uh, guys? Five little rangers. How oh, cute. Okay, now that's cool! Let's go! March 24th. Discover what it feels like to be a Power Ranger. It's happening! Immerse yourself like never before in the Power Rangers virtual reality experience. Power Rangers. Rated PG-13. In theaters March 24th. Download the Power Rangers app at www.powerrangers.movie/vr. Powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon. My house is on the other side of the mountain. I hike these trails sometimes, clear my head, and I stare down at Angel Grove and wonder how such a small crap town could cause me such misery. <laughs> that funny to you? I just, I feel the same way. Yeah, Jason Scott, star quarterback, crashes and burns, destroys his career and destroys our season. Go Tigers. Yeah, now I walk around town and everyone's looking at me like I ran over their dog. So why don't you leave? You know, just go. I could leave here, you know. Where? <sighs> Got it, anywhere. So let's go. <laughs> what? You'd never do it. Try me. Oh, you and me? You got a car? I have a van. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> it's not that kind of van. Every van is that kind of van. This must have been here for millions of years. I mean, look how the, the rock has grown around it. I don't like this place. Hmm. Hey, guys. There's aliens in here? Just be quiet, Jack. It's so cold in here. Jason, is this real? Like, like are we oh, really in a spaceship right now? I think so. Just, just breathe, okay? Okay. We're gonna be famous! What's wrong with you? Quiet! There's something here. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. What was that? Whoa. What's going on? Oh my god. The stairs! Oh my god! There's no way out! Guys, guys, guys! Let's go! Oh, that way! Let's go! Let's go. Oh. 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 Hey guys, guys! What? Check out how we glow. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I like this. Oh, I'm blue! Oh. It's not my favorite color, but it's cool. Oh, I'm black! What? I am. No, you're not! <laughs> hey guys! There's something down there. Follow me.
sliding. I'm down. Oh, oh, oh. You have to remember that in today's training lesson, the important thing is to... Wait, where's Zach? Seriously? My bad, my bad. That's on me right there. So where were you today? Were you with friends? Do you have any friends? Why this are you so tired? This is the problem. You asked her four questions before she's even answered the first. Because she's like a ghost around here. She needs to start communicating. Okay, Trini, let's start over. Please tell us one thing you did today. Me and four kids from Angel Grove found a spaceship buried underground. What? I'm pretty sure I'm a superhero. Cool. Oh. Pee in that cup! None of us really know each other. We were all in the same place when Billy found those coins. Check how we glow. Uh -huh. I'm blue! You're black! No, you're not! <laughs> Let's go! You are the Power Rangers. Woo! Ranger. The hologram, like a video game. Ooh. Not a video game. Ay, ay, ay. Power Rangers, rated PG 13, in theaters March 24th. Me and four kids found a spaceship buried underground. Whoa! I'm pretty sure I'm a superhero. These teenagers are the Power Rangers. Power Rangers? I think they got it. It's morphing time. Like, are we more like Iron Man or Spider Man? <laughs> Let's go! Crush them! Power Rangers! Woo! Power Rangers. Rated PG-13 starts March 24th. None of us really know each other. But we were all in the same place when Billy found those coins. What is that? <gasps> Do you feel weird? We're strong. I'm saying we're strong. The answer to what is happening to you is here. You five are the Power Rangers. You were born for this. Let's go! Power Rangers, rated PG-13, in theaters March 24th. You five are the Power Rangers. You were born for this. Bring it on. Woo! Surprise! Okay, now that's cool! Let's play. <laughs> she must be stopped. Fire! I told you it'd be famous. <laughs> Power Rangers, City PG-13, starts Friday. Where were you last night? Me and four kids found a spaceship buried underground. You are the Power Rangers. I'm pretty sure I'm a superhero. Cool. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on! Power Rangers, rated PG-13, in theaters March 24th. It's morphin' time. Yeah! Critics rave. Power Rangers is a must-see event. Woo! It explodes onto the big screen. You are the Power Rangers. We're talking to a wall. <laughs> it's thrilling and pure popcorn adrenaline. Ah! Let's go! Okay, now that's cool! Power Rangers, rated PG-13, in theaters Friday. We're all screw-ups. Why were you in detention? I blew up my lunchbox. I am chosen, you five, to become Power Rangers. Whoa! She is pure evil. She must be stopped. Do it better than anybody you ever seen. Do it okay, now that's cool! <laughs> 
Power Rangers. Rated PG-13 in theaters March 24th. Do you know who I am? I was once just like you. Full of hope. You five are the Power Rangers. I've killed Rangers before. That's a lot of gold. Let's do this. Ready? Now! Power Rangers. Rated PG-13 in theaters March 24th. Do you feel it? Deep down inside. You are strong. You must work together. You must become warriors. Ready? Ready. Ready. Let's go! Power Rangers. Fire! This is your time. Power Rangers. Rated PG-13 in theaters March 24th. You are the Power Rangers. Any other questions? Is this some kind of joke? We're talking to a wall. To assume your Ranger identities, you need to morph. These Zord will forever change your life. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm a superhero. That's a lot of gold. <laughs> Power Rangers, rated PG-13, in theaters March 24th. The difference between the series of Power Rangers and the movie is significant. We had to pay homage to it and yet reinvent a new way of expressing itself. It's a reimagining on a much bigger level, a much bigger scale. You five are the Power Rangers. Any other questions? Are we more like Iron Man or Spider-Man? <laughs> During high school, I was a huge fanboy. So I ran home from school every single day to watch Power Rangers. I used to dream about being a Power Ranger. I've been practicing the last 18 years, <laughs> you know. My suit, once I saw it for the first time, I was like, whoa, this is real. It's morphin' time. Dude, I'm a Power Ranger, this is amazing. I think it takes you back to being a kid and you can't help but just start to do fight poses. Okay, now that's cool! People are gonna see something that's not just a superhero movie, it's not just a teen movie. Woo! It's a really interesting story. This is your destiny. This movie is really incredible and there's a lot of nods to all of the big mythology from the series. And the action is amazing. Let's go! That adrenaline push that Power Rangers gives you is in this movie tenfold. This is your time. Ah! Whoa! Oh! Billy, stop. <laughs> <laughs>well, I knew a lot. I knew that uh, it started as a Japanese series. I knew it's got a lot of cool toys. Um, I knew that there's a legacy to hold behind, and I knew that it carried on through the years. But what I didn't know was that there's so many fans all over the yeah, world I didn't think because I they were either. communicating with us and mm. congratulating us. So yeah, it was. A yeah, shock. I agree. I don't know. I didn't realize just how much, just how you know, but like around the world how many people really it was a part of their lives. I think that's kind of surprised me as well. Mm. I think I just knew about the legacy. I wasn't hugely familiar with the show, and, but I knew what kind of impression it left on a lot of people. Yeah. I did a lot of um, uh, work with some trainers doing a lot of CrossFit, uh, Muay Thai, kickboxing, boxing. I kind of fell in love with boxing and uh, a lot of yoga, um, gym work, changed my diet. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I trained pretty hard leading up to even going to Vancouver. And, and as I've said before, that it, I, I think that it was, t the training was to, to have the stamina to get through the shoot. As, as actors, it wasn't just an aesthetic thing. It wasn't just about what we look like. Um, it was actually, because it was such a physical shoot and you have to be strong, you know. Um, so that was really important, I think. And it was a good challenge and it was a good discipline. 
and of course we have to kick butt, we have to be superheroes, so. My background in martial arts, how it prepared me, martial arts training for me is like playing, and how it prepared me was like, I think it's like how school prepares you for life. It didn't actually prepare me specifically for certain types of action for this film, but it allowed me to train and learn and adapt to the action I wanted for this character, so it comes out organically. I think he is a good leader in the end because he doesn't force it. Mm. He's not like, I am the born leader, I'm going to lead. We, he thinks of it mm. as a team, just as I think of the whole operation as a team, my cast as a team. And I think a lot of the time leaders need to, not talking from my own experience, insert themselves in the group in order to help raise the group up and be more interested in others than themselves. Yes, I and totally agree I try with and bring that. an element of my life and my interest in other people into Jason, and I hope that that was conveyed yeah. successfully. I think a good leader is humble, definitely. I think everyone's done something that they, that they regret. I think, um, especially in school, things happen, you know. Um, sometimes, especially in, in, for girls growing up, you know, someone's... You've either said something mean about someone or someone said something mean about you, and I think that it's just... You know, it's one of these things that everyone everyone goes through, everyone can relate to. And it's just learning that everyone in school and is going through their own insecurities. And I think when you realise that, it helps you a little bit. And I think that it, it just shows, hopefully, that, um, you know, kids watching can see that you're better supporting each other than bringing each other down because you're probably all going through similar things, you know. Um, so hopefully that's what kids kind of take away from it. Oh, 100%. I mean, that was very, um, Becky and I spoke about it. We really, no, they had to be, if it had to be real, you know, they just like, all of us are kids, all of us are people, all of us are humans, you know, whatever gender. Um, and, but their relationship, they're not sure about each other at first, you know. And I think what it shows is in school sometimes um, you don't, you know, there's an, you don't necessarily mix with certain crowds or you think, oh, I'm probably not going to get on with them. But when you, some, when you just don't judge and you just, you know, try new things and try and hang out with someone else, it might surprise you or they might surprise you. And I think that's kind of what, um, what that relationship Trini and Kimberly kind of shows. I think it just comes about organically because um, the core theme is uh, being real. I mean, just recently, this line really hit me as I was watching a documentary about uh, society's perspective or their expectations on, on what it means to be a man, right? Masculinity. And the line was, you have to shed your mask to don the armor. And the armor is the Power Rangers armor. And the mask is what society places upon you, these names, these, these archetypes, these stereotypes that society forms upon you. I think uh, for the Power Rangers, the message is that inside we all want to do something good. But what's preventing us is these walls that society puts around us. So um, for us to shed these walls and really to understand each other and can work together, we need to bond together and anyone can do that. The minute that we turned around and looked in the mirror and we had our masks on, it just like re-energizes you because you're like, whoa, that's crazy, you know, and it's weird because it doesn't feel like you because obviously you've got the mask on, but you're like, that is, that is me. And that was kind of surreal. I think truly more than the first time I put it on was the first time I saw every single person together with the suits on um, in a scene where mm. I'm filming on top of that cliff because the sun was setting and the light strikes the suit in a certain way that it glistens and then everyone's there together looking over this cliff onto Angel Grove and we're about to go and save it. That really brought the team together and uh, it felt like we're a team of superheroes. Yeah, I mean, uh, Elizabeth in particular, I guess in any industry there are veterans, you know, in their place. And to have an opportunity to work with those kinds of people, I think, is always the most rewarding experience. Because regardless of what you take away from it, you're learning. You know, you come to set and act a bit like a sponge and you suddenly realize one day when Elizabeth Banks is on set that the sponge is going to be full, you know. You're going to walk away with some valuable stuff regardless. And I think she, Brian, and Bill all bring incredibly unique uh, 
characteristics to their roles that I think benefit the film immensely. Uh, I think they're gonna they're gonna love the relatability. Yeah. Um, it depends on what how old they are because we have had we've had fans that come up to us that are four and five. We've had, we've had teenagers coming up to us. The four and five year olds they do the poses and they love the action. They love the spectacle. The teenagers I think they're gonna relate to a lot more. And then again the old school fans. Um, in relation to them and the younger fans, they're going to have an opportunity to enjoy uh, a legacy mm -hmm. that they loved with their, with their kids. It's wonderful. Growing up, uh, it definitely left an impression on me. I would watch like the original Japanese uh, Power Rangers uh, before school in the morning because it was like one of the channels that we would get. It was like this Japanese channel. I didn't, couldn't understand anything, but I just thought it was like the coolest thing because of the colors and stuff. And then later on, got introduced to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, which kind of like changed everything for me. And I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. And the Yellow Ranger was a girl in it. So I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Me personally right so I used to watch the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie at a very unhealthy rate to be honest and uh no it, it was just cool being able to revisit you know nostalgia definitely kicked in a few times let's just say that yeah well we all trained really really hard to mm -hmm. be honest um some of us uh, trained at 8711. Some of us trained in, you know, Australia. Where they were living. Yeah, wherever they were living. And then when we got to Vancouver, we all trained together. It was like this really big, um, like, warehouse that they just built and fixed up for us to be big, fit kids, you know, yeah. from wire work to mats for uh, fight training or, or choreography. And it was really cool. I feel like. So Billy is mostly a, a person that stays to himself other than people that he knows from either birth. That's why he just stuck to his parents, right? And he didn't try to find friends after he lost his papa, you know, until it was like, all right, Billy, there's no, there's no progression right now. It's just <coughs> you and your, your, your toys. That's all you have. And so that's why when Billy goes back to the mine, he's looking for more. But then he finds that more in these, you know, other characters, in the other five rangers. And I feel like that's something, that's more of the reason why Billy trusted himself to open up to these, you know, these other four. Because he met them at the right time, you know. He went to the mine looking for something more to further his connection with his dad, even though he lost him, right. And then he found all of these different jewels yeah. in people, you know, and that's what really made that, that friendship spark in Billy's mind to where he's like, okay, I came here to find this, but I found these people. This must be good, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like when everyone first meets Trini, they kind of think she hates everyone because it seems like it. Uh, but really what it is is she just hates what she's going through, and that is that she doesn't know who she is and that she's lost. Um, I think she feels like she has no purpose and she struggles trying to find that purpose. And although at first, you know, being a chosen one, finding a power coin seems like an inconvenience to her, um, she realized that that's her purpose, that these kids are her purpose, that she was able to have friends, that she doesn't have to feel um, bad for being different, that she can actually feel okay with being different because yeah. all these other characters are, are different as well. And, um, you know, she's, she's definitely like this lost girl that's just trying to find her way. And I think the other characters really bring the best out of her. Um, and she realizes that she can maybe be a little nicer sometimes and, and let those walls down. I think it's very, it's an honor to be a female superhero. Uh, and not just that, but to be co-starring with an amazing, talented young lady like Naomi, who plays an amazing job uh, as Kimberly. Um, I think it's it sets a really good message for a lot of young girls out there. And not just that, but for young boys as well, to see that these, these guys don't treat us any different because we are girls. Um, I think the diversity in genders and us saying, you know, we're not one without the other and that we're all equal is, is a message that I stand behind 100%. And um, 
you know, the story, the sisterhood that kind of grows with Trini and Kimberly is, uh, it's not, you know, it doesn't happen right off the top, you know, there's a genuine build to figuring each other out and, and where they stand, but they don't hate each other. And I think that was something that was really cool to see, because usually it's like the mean girl and the outsider and all they ever do is fight and hate yeah. each other. And really, I hate you. they don't I hate, hate each you. other. I think they, they kind of, at first, want to be each other. Kimberly sees Trini and is like, man, she's so real. She's just, she just cuts all, you know, BS aside. And and I wish I could be like that because Kimberly's only ever known fake. She's only ever had fake people around her. And I think what Trini admires about Kimberly is that Kimberly is so self-assured. She's confident in who she is and she has it figured out. And Trini wishes she could do that. She looks up to Kimberly because she's that way. Well, you just mentioned some of the biggest actors in the industry who are so well established. And um, I mean, somebody like, again, back to the girl power, uh, Elizabeth, who is a woman in the industry who's not just an actress. I mean, she's a director and producer on her own as well. And um, the way she she came onto set was just so inspiring, I think, to all of us. The way she really uh, took control but never stepped on anyone's toes, collaborative, but very sure of what decisions she wanted to make. Uh, for her character and just that balance as as a, a a smart actress was just like I it definitely like inspired me and like I was taken back by it and like wow she's the coolest thing ever yeah. yeah I think they would fall in love with these Power Rangers mostly because they would see themselves behind these masks right so they can literally replace me with themselves they can replace Becky with themselves and you know because these characters are so like human driven right they're they're actual human beings with real problems and we show that right so the perfect there's no such thing as as perfection so heroes don't come from perfection it comes from people who accept imperfection you know and, and they accept themselves and yeah it's just that's the message that this movie puts out because that's how humans live life you know we mess up we come back we fall we get back up and this movie is about showing that that doesn't make you you know less, less. because you mess up you know it's exactly. just